So, I have something I really want to share with you guys, but it's kind of personal, so I don't really know if I should, um, but, and it's something I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed, like, it's awkward, because I feel like I should have done this by now, um, and, you know, I guess just because I'm, I'm older, you know, I'm 23, I've been out for, like, over a year now, um, and so it was just kind of weird, and I didn't really know what to expect, and I didn't know how it was going to be or work out. You know, I'd heard people tell me about it, but it's really different experiencing something for yourself, you know? So, so it was really, it was really weird. Um, and so I wanted to share it with you guys because I popped my cherry this weekend. And it was amazing. Like, it just, it was so right. And it was about damn time. When it happened, it was just... Oh, it was, it was spectacular. Uh, cause it was my first time at Pride. Wait, what, what were you thinking? A anyway, it was my first time at Pride and it was great. I took so much footage. Uh, and so I'm going to share some of that with you now and we're going to talk about it. It's going to be awesome. Hey, so we're in Minneapolis about to celebrate an amazing Pride. Uh, popping both our cherries for Pride, I think, actually. Whoa. So I got to experience Pride with some of the most amazing friends that I could ask for. We had a huge amount of fun. We went to all these different places to eat, just random places that we had found. And we really just tried to experience all of the oh, wow. Your face is like really city <laughs> and all of what Pride had to offer. So we get down to Loring Park where they had amazing drag shows and booths and just fun things going on. There were five different stages all across this huge part and some really great songs. For those that like the same sex and the characteristics, the right wing conservatives think it's a decision. So you see this stage here, it's called the Stonewall Stage and it's a nice shout out to our brothers and sisters from back in the day because there was this little place called the Stonewall Inn, maybe you've heard of it. But it was a nice safe haven for the gays and lesbians back then. And one day after a police raid, the guys here said, you know what, we're not going to fucking take your shit anymore. So they finally did something about it. And they started what's known as the Stonewall Riots, which was basically us standing up for our rights in a huge fashion. That really hadn't been done before. Other things had been tried, but this was really the the gusto that started the gay rights movement. And so it's really cool that we draw our roots back there. Because we do this parade during every gay pride. And that parade is going back to this exact moment. Because when the Stonewall Riots happened, they, they continued and just kept going. And it became a march down to the town center. And... And it became this this parade of sorts. So the first gay pride was a riot. And it's really good to remember that history of how we came to be and, and how we had to stand up for our rights. So pride was absolutely amazing. I got to meet a lot of really cool people. And I got to meet Bishop Gene Robinson, the first openly gay bishop ordained in the Episcopal Church. And I got his new book, God Believes in Love, Straight Talk About Gay Marriage, signed, and that was a lot of fun. But, you know, there can't be gay pride without the haters. So, of course, we had some local uh, devotees of a certain religion come down and uh, try and tell us that we were all going to hell. So, we very nicely got in front of them and sang. Well, I didn't, but I took video of it. And so it was really cool seeing our community come together in this way to celebrate life and to celebrate DOMA being repealed and to celebrate Prop 8 being shot down and just being with each other. It was really great. So if you ever get a chance, go out and see Pride. And if you still have a Pride near you or in your local area that hasn't started yet, Go, go, go see it, because it's going to be amazing, and you'll have a blast. Uh, I am definitely going back to Twin Cities Pride next year, because I had so much fun, 
and I've got one or two more prides this summer that still haven't kicked off yet that I'm going to head out to. So I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye! We've been together for 11 years. We waited for this day for a very, very long time. Will you go to the movies tonight with me? Oh, oh wait. There's this little ring, and I was just wondering, would you marry me?